Well, I'm going to be a grandmother, so I'll be changing lots of diapers. I'm planning a trip this summer to Italy with some friends. And then um, some friends from high school and I are planning our um, 60th birthday trip to Charleston in October. But I'd like to be able to sit down and um, uh, engage in some creative writing. Another thing I have is boxes and boxes and boxes of slides that my parents took over many decades that need to be gone through. It's just a collection of memories of when children have been reluctant readers and all of a sudden you turn them on to the right book or the right series of books and they just love to read and you see them every day after that. Um, wanted to read Whistle for Willie and I had the class come in and we read the story and at the end of the story I asked them to uh, whistle and that if they whistle maybe Willie would come. What they didn't know is that I actually had a little black dachshund named Willie and I had it back in a crate. I had asked permission to bring the dog and so they all started whistling and they um, didn't know how to whistle and they were spitting and uh, everywhere and it was really really cute and then my assistant brought the uh, black dachshund in and they saw it and went crazy crazy they loved it it was so when students appreciate what I'm doing for them and they suddenly the light turns on and they realize that I can help them. There are a lot of memories of probably just the special relationships I've had with my different colleagues through the years. I have lifelong relationships and friendships that I will treasure and just the students that I met along the way and loved. At Granbury Elementary uh, there was a big student growth explosion that year and they had to put three classrooms in the library while they waited for the portables to come. So for six weeks we had library outside on quilts with uh, book trucks full of books and um, it was a great experience to be outdoors. <laughs> That's what I would tell myself back then. It's important to collaborate and it's important to network. Uh, you are not an island to yourself. No, that students are the most important thing that you are dealing with in your job. It's not the task that's most important. It's the students and the people you're working with. Um, that making a difference in people's lives is much more important than making sure the, shelf, the books are on the shelf in the correct order or any of the task-oriented things that are important to our job. I'm not saying they're not important, but just to remind myself over and over again that the tasks are not as important as the people. It's probably just not to take myself too seriously and to enjoy it because 30 years actually goes rather quickly when you think about it. Be patient. Be flexible. Um, be a team player. Try not to stress over the little stuff. Just hang in there. Well, it didn't win any awards, but, or maybe the Tennessee Book Award. How to Eat Fried Worms is one of my all time favorites. Girls like it, boys like it. It's a great read aloud. What went on the children's level? I just loved. Uh, the People Could Fly. I love that, that book because it gave us great insight into uh, some of the importance of black folk tales and so forth. And, and at the same time, it, it just imparted certain truths about... Charlotte's Web is always one that I will think of. Uh, all students all the time for 30 years have loved that book. But well, I like some of the series for the elementary kids. I like the Berenstain Bears and the Arthur books and some of the newer series too, Fly Guy and all of those are coming out. I think all of those, they read one book and then they like to read another one just like it. So that helps. Good time. For me, um, in the fifth grade, our teacher read us The Hobbit and I loved it. And then when I got in seventh grade, I was at the library and I realized that there were three more books. <laughs> and so I have read the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings trilogy 18 times over the course of my life, at least as far as I've counted. I might have, yeah. 
said it wasn't that in the lost count. But those, those are my all-time favorites. I just think it's real important that you learn to take care of yourself because as librarians, we are taking care of everybody. You just, care of things are changing so fast in this profession and it's just uh, a challenge to keep up with it. When I started out, I was helping teachers thread um, film through movie projectors and now we're dealing with maker spaces. And so even though I won't be here at Metro Schools, I plan to be supportive as much as, much as I can and to be encouraging to others as much as I can. I think that a librarian's most important job is to connect kids and books, and whether that takes place by reading aloud, by showing children that special book that's perfect with them, or by working with teachers to help children learn how to research, I just think that connection between kids and books is the most important thing we do. Take this job and shove it. I ain't